Well, this week is actually a National Banned Book Week. It's a celebration of the literature that some folks want to see removed from uh, public school curriculums and maybe libraries at the school and public level. Our Megan Solinsky joins us live with more on how Linesville Public Library is one of the many places here at home bringing attention to these banned books. Good morning, Megan. Good morning. Well, thousands of books are being removed from libraries or school curriculums, but Linesville Public Library is doing their part to celebrate these books and draw attention to these novels. The Linesville Public Library takes pride in providing the community with public access to a diverse range of content. We're a public library, so we're supposed to have open access to pretty much everything. Renee Grout, the director of Linesville Public Library, has chosen to highlight the books that have been banned from libraries or removed from school curriculums across the country. A lot of people didn't realize banned books doesn't mean we can't carry them. So it's the kind of educating them on the banned books and not necessarily that not everybody, I mean, they're still published. You can still buy them. It's just in certain locations, they have been banned. The library took to social media with their banned book display. Each day they covered the front of books and asked the community to guess which book it was based on why it was banned. People are still able to like open the books and see what the book is. So basically it just, like this is my sister's keeper, um, but they can see why it's banned and that was kind of a good way to highlight it on Facebook so people can kind of guess what the book is. The library hoped their display would spark an open discussion about censorship in our community and to shed light on some of the reasons why books are being banned. Try, to try to have an open mind, don't let the purpose of a banned book stop you from reading it if you want to read it. Read it. If not, read something else. Well, the Linesville Public Library is encouraging all readers to come on down, visit their banned book display, or go to Facebook later this morning when they put their post out and try to guess which banned book it is today. From the studio, Megan Selensky, Erie News Now.